happening today. The Suicide Prevention Hotline is now up and running. News 8's Lake McGee joins us live in Indianapolis this morning. Lake Kim, this hotline works very similar to how 911 works. Hey, Hannah, yeah, it does. So we're all familiar with 911 when we have an emergency. We just dial those three digits. People come out to help. Alrighty, so now we have another three digit number that you need to remember. It's gonna be 988. All you do is type that right there on your phone, and you're gonna get mental health assistance. So the hotline is designed for mental health support, folks struggling with addiction recovery, and people who experience suicidal thoughts. The CDC says suicide is the 11th leading cause of death in Indiana and second leading cause of death for Hoosiers between the ages of 10 and 34. So I spoke with a staff member at the Bowen Center. Uh, it's the Indiana's largest community mental health center. And staff there say in 2020, every 11 minutes, there was a death by suicide. And they say it's crucial we open the conversation up to people who are struggling with suicidal thoughts. You won't plant a seed in somebody's mind just by asking them. Um, in fact, the research really shows us we should ask by asking somebody um, if they want to kill themselves or if any part of them, because sometimes there's that internal conflict about I don't want to die, but it seems like the only way I can make this emotional pain go away. Um, so by asking the question, you're opening the door for them to say, gosh, you, you feel comfortable comfortable talking about that, that's going to make me feel safe and comfortable to talk about it. She says she sees children as young as six years old coming through their doors struggling with suicide. And more and more people now have cell phones, so that's why dialing 988 is crucial. And something else to mention is that you don't have to actually talk to someone over the phone if you don't want to. So there is an option to text a trained expert at 988 instead. And that could help more teenagers who are not comfortable speaking to others. And officials say even though the hotline's launch was officially starting today, there is going to be still some developments over the next few years uh, to making this a little bit better. And some of those resources that is going to be through this hotline, I do want to mention, are the um, increased numbers of mobile crisis teams, in-person services, and facilities where people can go to actually seek help. I'm Lake McGee for WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.